750, Jeff Hammond covers NASCAR on Fox Sports. He joins us in studio. Jeff, how you doing? Man, I am doing great. It's just great to be back in Las Vegas. Uh, as always, the city's a buzz, you know, about NASCAR, and uh, we're rolling in here, hopefully, for uh, a pretty exciting weekend. Yeah, because we got started in 97, 98, yep. and every every weekend here, I mean, uh, race weekend. I know a lot of people travel with NASCAR, but it's it's a, it's a, it's just a buzz this weekend. It really is, and, and again, I've been one of those guys who's, who've been to Las Vegas many, many times. I come out for the NFR each December, so I see the city go through transformation and it's just really exciting to see them taking on the NASCAR face at this time of the year. All the fans that come in from California, Washington, Oregon, Utah, I mean, all, the, all our states here on the West, everybody likes to migrate to Vegas, not only because of the fact we got great racing, but... Hey, it's kind of a fun place to hang out. <laughs> yeah, imagine the drivers like coming. Yeah, here just as well. a little bit. I mean, they got great shows. I mean, uh, you talk about the Circus Soleil, you know, shows that are at all the different. Uh, uh, casinos around the strip. I mean, I love going to those. I, I think it's just incredible the artistry that they have there. Uh, but but again, you know, the city of Las Vegas, I mean, it's so unique. It is definitely one of the places we put a big gold star beside as far as the schedule is concerned. Talking to Jeff Hammond of Fox Sports. Take us through a driver's week. When the, when the race finishes on Sunday, travel time, get to the next destination, what happens? Well, really what happens is everybody, you know, it's the big rush to get home. You try to spend a day or two at the house. And you have to go to the shop and do what they call a debrief after a race each week. Every driver is required to do that, whether he, he calls in because he can't get to the shop or he's mandatory, goes in, sits down with his engineers, his crew chief. They talk about that week, then they get ready for the upcoming week with the type of setup they're going to put underneath the car, what car they're going to run. And then, you know, around Wednesday afternoon, early Thursday morning, he'll be traveling into such as the Las Vegas. I'm sure you've seen a lot of drivers like Tony Stewart, Brad Keselowski, uh, Kurt and Kyle Busch. They're all doing, you know, autograph uh, sessions or appearances at different sponsors' locations. So uh, it's a real busy Thursday for them. And then all of a sudden, Friday morning shows up. And, and again, I'm on my way to the track. The drivers will be showing up the track probably around 9, 9 or 10 o'clock. There'll be a nationwide practice starting at 11. Uh, followed by a NASCAR uh, Sprint Cup uh, practice. Then they got another nationwide practice, followed by Cup qualifying this afternoon. Oh so it's pretty busy yeah. just trying to get the, the weekend started. Uh, we got our trackside live show on speed that I'm a part of uh, each and every Friday night. We'll be taping that, or it'll be live at 530, and it'll be airing you know, across the United States on Speed Channel this afternoon. Then Saturday, you know, we're about back at it again. We'll have practices and qualifying sessions for the Nationwide Series. They got a 300-miler that afternoon. I guess the Sam Ta Samstown 300 right. will be Saturday afternoon, yep. followed by the uh, the Mac Daddy of them all, uh, <laughs> the big race on Sunday. Yep, Shelby 427 in town for, uh, for Sunday. You're right. I mean, these drivers have uh, busy weeks, but, they boy, they sure keep in touch with their fans, don't they? Well, that's what we're all about. I mean, the sport of NASCAR would not be where it is today if it wasn't for our fans. We really... Uh, appreciate and understand the importance of, of th that interaction because we feel like we have one of the most unique sports that allow you uh, to be basically on the playing field, you know, five minutes before they crank the engines. I mean, there's people on start on uh, pit road, uh, VIPs and stuff like that to get to be there. So, I mean, it's really something that's uh, a unique sport. I mean, I've been to a lot of other ones as far as basketball, baseball, and football. NASCAR does it the right way. So you used to be a crew chief for Daryl Waltrip. So how do you approach the, Do you approach the weekend differently now that you're doing Fox Sports? No, not really. Uh, you know, we have same type of uh, scenario going on. We get through the race. We have a day off. And then Tuesday morning, we're on conference calls at 9 a.m. Uh, trying to get things lined up for the upcoming show. We do all the discussion points, discussion points about the good stuff from the, from the past weekend, the bad stuff. Roll it forward. Uh, we receive, uh, you know, DVDs as far as uh, last week's show that we review. We start reviewing the next race, you know, as far as coming up, and we throw out ideas, start doing our study as far as who's hot and who's not, and understanding what's going on. And plus, you read all the media uh, reports of different drivers, what they're doing, and then you go to the garage area. It's like when I get to the racetrack here in a little while, I'll be down in the garage area talking to the crew chiefs, talking to the crew members, talking to the drivers, so I can find out what's going on in their world so we can – let the rest of the world know about it once we go on air. Are you interviewing these guys for TV, or is it just you're getting the information you need? I'm getting the information I need, but yesterday afternoon I was at the Caesars Palace, and we were doing a, uh, a little shoot that we're going to have aired at the start of our race on Sunday, and I was working with Jeff Gordon, and we were doing a little spin off the movie uh, Hangover. Oh, and cool. it was kind of fun. You know, we were up there in one of the, one of the suites, and um, you know, have to tune in NASCAR on Fox come Sunday morning to see exactly what we did. But, uh, you know, Jeff was uh, there for a, a Pepsi shoot, 
Uh, he was doing some stuff there, so we, which is coming up in the Maxim magazine later on. So, uh, you know, it was an interesting afternoon. We were there from about uh, 12.30 till about 4.30 yesterday afternoon. Then I, I did an autograph session at Discount Tire up here on uh, Lake Mead Boulevard. Nice. Wow. Jeff Hammond of Fox Sports. When does coverage begin then on Sunday? Uh, we'll be on the air on 11 o'clock uh, Sunday morning. Uh, and the race will be started right after that. So, our free race. So, make sure you got to tune in and see Chris Myers and Daryl Darryl Walter and myself and uh, what kind of zany ideas and you know, crazy information we'll be putting out on the air next uh, Sunday. Well, if you have time with your schedule, I don't know if you will or not, but enjoy your time here in Las Vegas. Yeah. And uh, we appreciate you coming by this morning. Well, you know about the best thing about coming to Las Vegas and at this time of the morning when I'm driving the racetrack? I think it's thing called 95.5. <laughs> I get a chance to listen to good old country music just oh, like course. I do back home. That's right. <laughs> appreciate you coming in. Jeff Thank Hammond on uh, Fox Sports. Have a great weekend. Thank you.